First up, we have Broadcast Channel Classes. This is new in 5.6. So if I go to my Routes Channels folder, you'll see I have one set up here. And this project is actually from a, a series at Laracast called Get Real with Laravel Echo. So if, if this entire thing I'm talking about is foreign to you, I'd highly recommend going through this, and I'll break it down step by step. Anyways, in this file, you can register essentially your authorizations that determines, does the authenticated user have permission to access this channel and participate in this channel and receive notifications from this channel? So you can imagine if you're using something like Pusher and from your server side, maybe a new task is added to a project. And what you want to do is notify all of the users in that project on the client side that, hey, uh, there is new activity for this task. Well, you need a way to do that without alerting every single user in the system. You need a way of saying, okay, well, only the users who have permission to view this project should receive that instant notification. That's kind of what we're dealing with here. Anyways, and you can see something just like that here. So here is my channel name, and we're checking, does the authenticated user have permission to participate in this project? And if so, I'm just going to return information about that user because it's a presence channel. Anyways, uh, if we were to switch over to Safari, here's our little demo that we have set up. And sure enough, I'm signed in as Jeffrey Way, and that person is included in the project participants. So I am allowed. If I open up the console, yep, I don't see any errors. Let's instead open up an incognito tab. And now if we run this and I open up the console, you'll see that we get a 403 forbidden. So notice we hit that endpoint. We're trying to figure out, does the person accessing this project have permission uh, to receive updates? And the answer is no. Now, in this case, only for uh, the series, we're giving anyone access to this page. But in real life, you would, of course, lock that down as well. Anyways, let's get to it. In Laravel 5.6, you can now extract all of this to a dedicated class. And you might want to reach for this if you get to the point where you have a lot of different channels and it's starting to get a little messy and you want to clean things up a bit. Okay, only on that condition should you consider it. Otherwise, I think this is actually fairly clean. All right, so if we run PHP Artisan under the make namespace, you'll see a new one to make a new channel. Let's give that a run. PHP Artisan make channel, and this is kind of related to the project, so I'll call it project channel. And you'll see that this now creates an app broadcasting directory. So if we open this up, of course, you can pass anything through the constructor, and you now have a new join method. And this is a good name. So the contents here should determine whether or not this authenticated user may join that channel. So you could hard code it if you want, or in real life, you would do a check, something just like this. Reformat, let me pull in the project. And there we go. So now if you're curious, well, well, how did we get project into this join method? Well, that's being defined right here. And you'll notice what I like about this is it's, it's almost identical to how you would define your routes. It's, it's very similar, and that's why it's contained within that same folder. Here's your web routes, and then here are your, your channel routes, so to speak. So in this case, you can see I'm using a wildcard. So when I pass this through, we're going to use uh, implicit model binding to track down the associated project. Okay. So let's take a look at this. I don't need a constructor in this case. And we now have our broadcast channel class. Now, if we come back to our channels file, I can get rid of the contents here entirely and just replace it with a reference to the class. I'll import that like so. And that should do it. So one more time, I'll give this a refresh on the private uh, tab where we are not authenticated, we will get a 403, which is what we expect. However, if we close that out, and now I'm in my active tab where I'm signed in, once again, we open up the console, and just like before, we still have permission. So everything's working exactly as it did before. So that's what's new, PHP Artisan make channel.